Hey everybody, um, so I'm really excited about um, this uh, thing I've been working on. Um, I was thinking, you know, if uh, in Python, it, it, there's just so many things you can do with it, and it's so easy to work with. Um, and so I found this new library called um, TK Enter. Well, it's not new, but it was new to me because it was the first time I saw it. Um, but it's really awesome for building um, graphical interfaces. And um, it's really easy to use as well. So a while back, I created a video um, called BIM Execution or Creating BIM Execution Plans. It would reference a SQL server, um, which was um, essentially hosting all the data from all the Revit models. And then it would take that information and populate that to um, the BIM Execution Plan. And the idea is that you kind of treat it as a single true, you know, a single source of truth. So that SQL Server will host all this information. You're kind of writing um, um, either in the Revit model or on the BIMX plane, and it's kind of um, going. It's it's populating in both both, both areas. Now that um, was awesome, but um, the script um, essentially generated it, but then it never had that um, the ability to then then talk or take that information and populate it back um, after the BIM execution plan was created. Uh, so anyways, I've been messing a lot more with Python. Um, I created this little button and it's using the Py Revit um, extension. So if you, Py Revit is totally free, so I definitely recommend checking it out. And then you can create your own tabs and buttons incredibly easy um, within that platform. It's, it's really easy to do it. So I definitely recommend checking it out. So I have this Pi DLR and I have all these different, um, buttons that I've just been kind of creating for the fun of it. Um, but this one, um, what it's going to do is there's a little script that just references a, um, a path, uh, where an executable, executable is sitting. It launches that executable, which, um, um, essentially will, but currently it doesn't um, have the ability. We'll be talking back to a uh, SQL server and then you'll be inputting information. And then ho you know, in the future, hopefully when you have a project open, um, it automatically knows what project that is um, and then opens up the corresponding uh, BIM execution plan. You can fill in the information there and then automatically populate that information in the SQL server and then always, you know, um, be able to uh, reference that data. Um, so if we go ahead and launch this, what it'll do is um, go out, um, get that executable that I created, and then launch that. And it'll create this little box which popped up on the other screen. So you can see this box doesn't really have anything going on with it right now. Um, currently just has this button in there. It says, click me. You can um, expand it, you know, um, or, or just resize it. And um, currently, you know, there's just this button. But in the future, I'm hoping that I can create a SQL server or a, some type of database that I can communicate to. Um, and, you know, for example, we have just a default project. This has no template applied to it. So it typically would not be a project um, that the company would use. So in here, say if I wanted to create a new BIMX plan for um, a project, I can just go in here, click new, um, assign in a project number or something that uniquely um, applies that um, in the future when the, um, the actual project the model gets created will connect um, the data to that to that model um, of you know referencing from the SQL server. So the only way to do that, far as I know, is to s use some type of unique identifier um, that somebody e either is going to put in themselves or automatically generate, which will tie the model and BIM execution plan together. Um, so I'm really excited to see where this goes. Um, and then, you know, definitely uh, when we start to um, get that figured out, we'll see about um, taking that data and then learning from it. So we'll set up some visualizations and then we'll look at some machine learning um, applications we can apply to it. So I'm really pumped. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, the great thing is 
Hi Revit, totally free. Um, Python, totally free. And so is uh, um, uh, TK Enter. So definitely check those tools out. Read read up on them. See how great they are. And then if you um, you know if you don't have Revit, that's the only one that isn't free. Um, this uh, thing that we're going to set up doesn't much apply to you, but um, Python is definitely a tool to learn regardless um because there's just so many great things you can do with it so um i appreciate you watching let me know if you have any questions and i'll see you in the next video